Some of my absolute favorite moments with my kids are reading a funny story together or a story that we're going to remember and we have memories around and we can giggle and laugh even after the story is over. That is the case with Holy Moly. This is hilarious. I just read this with my daughter today and she was howling and she um, definitely wants me to read it for her tomorrow. Gus the Goat um, thinks it's hilarious to tease this mole here and say, mole, you must live in a hole. And just through the pages, he is being so silly and he's talking about rhyming, which is great for that phonemic awareness. He's like, do you live in a bowl? <laughs> and then, um, do you, are you a mole eating guacamole? It is so hilarious. And, um, every preschool classroom needs this book, every kindergarten classroom, it is hilarious. Highly recommend that one. We also just came out with Billy and the Pirates. This is a three book series. There's also Billy and the Beast and Billy and the Dragon. It is so sweet. And I love that this book actually touches on a little bit, if you're familiar with the Sirens from the Odyssey um, Adventures or even the Kraken from Greek mythology. I think that's so clever of the author here. And there's the sirens there <laughs> with this um, Captain Howell. He is the mean wolf here who is um, trying to steal um, Sweet Billy's map. But um, hopefully she'll have someone to rescue her. These are great. And again, there are two others in this series. I love when books have um, some, some memorable parts to them. And we can read more adventures that Billy will go on. My daughter also loved Sunny Side Up. This is a sweet story. And in the back, yes, there is your own set of glasses. And this book just describes how we can see things on the sunny side and how those can give us a good mood. Um, most pages have a fun pop-up picture. This one, um, you can have a fold out. Very sweet. You can, um, boring can become fun when you see things on the sunny side. When you look on the sunny side, even the possible becomes, even the impossible becomes possible. Very sweet. Loved this. And it's a fun little surprise at the end. And all your family members will be fighting over who gets to wear the sunny glasses. <laughs> We also have this beautiful book as an ode to reading and the importance of coming together and reading a story, reading all different types of stories. This is just an honor to how books take us on journeys and um, they give us the power to go anywhere. It is a beautiful, joyful celebration of books and encourages you to read whatever, however, and wherever you choose. I absolutely love these kinds of books that um, just encourage children to love those books and um, find the just right book, which absolutely Paper Pie is here to do. Lastly, I want to share the classic story, Little Red Riding Hood, a pop-up shadow story. When you shine a flashlight, you read this story, which is a beautiful prose, you shine the flashlight and you're going to get a beautiful rendition of, here's the wolf in the, there's the wolf, you can see him there, hi, prowling getting ready to attack Little Red Riding Hood, but then, oh no, he finds out that Little Red Riding Hood is um, on her way to see Grandmother. So every single page here is gonna be a pop-up, and you're gonna shine that light, and you're gonna see, and now here, Grandma is gonna pop out of the wolf's belly. These are so, so fun. My daughter was thrilled, and she couldn't get enough of these pop-ups. Very exciting to discover and delight in an old story in a brand new way. As your child picks up a new story or old, new worlds come alive for them. And I hope that these stories will ignite love and excitement for them today.